Hey guys, it's Luna and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm back at it again with the fucking car video. And I already filmed this video once, but I just felt like I looked cute today. Also last time I filmed it, I didn't look cute. It was the end of the day. Oh my God, he thought I was waving him. I literally was just not in my right mind, if you know what I mean. So I was like, yeah, that's just messy as fuck. And maybe, I've been doing a lot today. I'm sweaty, okay? That video was just, it was messy as fuck and I'm sure y'all would like it, but it was a little too messy. So I'm just gonna refilm it because I think it'd be more fun. Is he cute or not? I can't tell. So I honestly don't even know what I'm gonna title this fucking video, but I just know that it's gonna be crazy. So just get ready. I have Tinder, had Tinder. I just found out two days ago that I got blocked or banned from Tinder. So no longer, Tinder's no longer available for me. Like I'll never be able to get another account. So like have fun with Bumble, I guess. And I'm really sad about it, but it's fine. So I met this kid on Tinder. We were talking for a few weeks. We were hooking up. We were just casual hookup buddies, but like he actually wanted like a relationship. I just didn't find him cute like that. And I didn't think he would like and I know you're asking like if you didn't find him cute like why were you hooking up with him because I have daddy issues and I'm desperate okay I'm not desperate no more I know my fucking standards my friends are like you settle and I'm like no longer am I gonna settle I'm not gonna let anyone look at me and be like she settles like I don't want that vibe or like that fucking what's the r word reputation I don't want that reputation I want to be like it's hard to get with her like she's not easy I don't want to be easy literally I would hook up with him and I would go home crying and I would come up with excuses like oh my stomach hurts the second we hooked up to leave like it's embarrassing and I'm ashamed, but anyways. So we had been talking and like hanging out for like two or three weeks. We'd like go get breakfast together and like lunch or whatever, like just hang out because like I told him I just wanted to be friends. So we were just friends for like four days and then we hooked up again and I regretted it, cried, you know, the fucking drill. And so I was like, damn it, I told him I just wanted to be friends. We didn't hook up for like four or five days. It was like going strong and then we hooked up again because he told me he wanted to watch a movie and so we were watching a movie and you know the rest of the story. That's how it fucking goes, okay? I'm disappointed, but it happened. I can't take it back, no regrets. And so I told him that like my Apple Music had kicked me out because like long story short, I had to have a bank account set up and my Apple Music just ran out and I had to buy like Visa cards to keep getting it and I just didn't feel like doing that anymore. And so he was like, oh, I have Apple Music, like here's my login stuff. So he gives me his login stuff. A few hours later, he gave me his Apple Music stuff, whatever, I'm sitting at home talking to my aunt. Like honestly, we're talking about coming up with excuses, like trying to come up with a way for me to not have to talk to this guy anymore. Cause I didn't want to ghost him and I didn't want to be rude. Like I thought we could be good friends. Cause he was like, cool. I was just sitting there talking with my aunt and then I get a message on Twitter or like a notification from Twitter that someone followed me and I don't think much of it. And then I go on there and I clicked like, just see who followed me. Cause like, I was just curious. I was blocked. So I was like, that's fucking weird. Why would this like girl follow me and then block me? And so I click on her profile picture and it's a picture of this guy I've been talking to and her. And I'm like, weird, okay. Another hour goes by and I don't think much of it. I'm just like, that's weird. And I was telling my aunt like, what the fuck? And then someone adds me on Snapchat and it's the same girl. And I'm like, okay. And she messages me and she's like, hey, do you know blank? I'm like, yeah, like, we're just friends. Like, why? Like, what's up? And she's like, who, who is he to you? Like, what is he to you? And I'm like, a friend. And I'm like, what is he to you, girl? And she's like, my boyfriend. And I said, <laughs> you guys are dating right now? Like, you mean current boyfriend? And she's like, for three and a half years, dot, dot, dot. And I'm like, huh? <laughs> huh? He had told me about his crazy ex-girlfriend before, which first of all, red flag. If your boyfriend or a guy you're talking to calls his ex-girlfriend crazy. Major red flag. He's probably the one that made her crazy and insecure because he's gaslighting and lying to her, which that was the fucking case. She's telling me, I'm like, wait, like, girl, like, I've been hooking up with this guy for the past few weeks. Like, what do you mean? And I'm like, are you busy right now? Like, she's like, I'm at work. And she's like, wait, what the fuck? You guys have been hooking up? And I'm like, yeah. I'm like, do you have an iPhone? Like, give me your number. I'm going to FaceTime you, girl. So I FaceTime her and she's in the bathroom at work crying, bawling because her boyfriend just cheated on her with me. Like, I am the homewrecker that I didn't know I was being a homewrecker. Like, I thought she was going to be mad at me because like, I, she, her boyfriend cheated on her with me. But like, I didn't know about her. Like, she wasn't mad at me. And I was telling her all the stuff I knew because like, I'm not a cheater. I'm not a homewrecker like that. I don't fuck with that shit. No, and I was like, fuck, the first time I hook up with someone that I regret, that's not cute and I don't like like that, literally fucked me in the asshole. Well, not like that. I meant like fucked me over. <laughs> fuck! And so her face, I mean, she's like, I'm gonna leave work early cause she's like fucking distraught. 
clearly. I'm like, okay, girl, like we should meet up. Like I'm FaceTiming her and I'm like, girl, you're so pretty. First of all, like I was just telling like hyping her up, like being the bad bitches, bad bitches. Bad bitches hype up other bad bitches. And that's just how it is. Women supporting women, girls supporting girls, 2020. We meet up, we go to this barbecue restaurant and we're just talking. I'm apologizing hundreds of thousands of times because I feel so bad that I'm responsible for her boyfriend. I'm not responsible. It was his fault because he's a piece of shit. But like I, it wouldn't have happened without me. No, it would have with some other girl. And it did 18 other times, but that's besides the point. Like 18. <laughs> Great, we love when user 8792345 comments on my TikTok. Probably a hate comment. So we're sitting at the restaurant and she basically explains to me and tells me that she got the notification from Apple Music because they share an Apple Music and an iPad, which is he fucking stupid? And he tried to tell her that his Apple Music had gotten hacked. She's like, I'm not stupid. Like, do you think I'm dumb? Like, you're playing me for a fool. Like, it literally says that I logged in from the same location that, like, the place we all live. Normally when people hack something, it's from fucking Russia, not two minutes from your house. Also, okay, so I sent, right when she followed me on Twitter, I forgot to say this, I screenshotted it and sent it to him. He's like, oh, that's my ex-girlfriend. Like, I've had her blocked for months. And I was like, okay. I'll like, I don't really care. Like, we're not dating. Like, I didn't need, like, proof. Like, catch him in a lie. I was just like, this is fucking weird. He sends me a screenshot of that she's blocked, which for no reason, I didn't ask for it. And that was his first mistake because I'm a fucking detective and I noticed all this little shit. And at the bottom, right when you block someone on Twitter, it says that at the bottom, user has been successfully blocked. That only happens right when you block them, honey. He's tried to tell me he had her blocked for months and I'm like, it says you just blocked her. He's like, no, no, no. And I'm like, you think I'm a fucking idiot? You think I'm a fucking idiot? You think I'm fucking stupid? Because clearly that's not true because I think someone's trying to make plans with me right now. Ah, I have friends, woo! And I'm like, why are you trying to tell me you blocked her for months? Like you just blocked her. And he's like, oh, I unblocked her like a couple months ago and I, or weeks ago and I forgot to block her back again. This full, full of shit story that I'm just not believing. Why would I? I'm not an idiot then back to what i was talking about earlier we were at this restaurant like barbecue just like eating dinner and she told me that and she first found out about it, he was trying to say that we have been best friends since we were like in elementary and that he's like watched me transition and it was beautiful and all this shit and i'm like huh i met you three weeks ago sir on tinder and i swiped right on accident but that's besides the point i literally swiped right and i was like fuck i didn't mean to do that matched message 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 add me on snapchat i was bored whoring in the middle of the night so i just hit him up like it was a mistake he gave me a good story time so i'm okay with it we've been friends since we were little kids and that uh, i am on suicide watch right now and i'm going through a lot so that hi and so that i definitely need to like she needs to leave me alone so that i don't get like commit suicide or something which was so weird like who comes up with that kind of story like suicide watch so she was like obviously i felt bad and i like didn't want to like cause you more emotional pain and i'm like girl he lied like that was not true sorry he said that to you like that's that's crazy that's like an out there lie i was like what how the fuck do men come up with this shit and she was telling me all this stuff and she's like you need to facetime him and i'm like oh my god should i facetime him she's like yeah but don't tell him here so i facetimed him and we're talking and at this point she he is still trying to convince her that like he doesn't like no i exist really or that like we were just best friends since we were little like something stupid and he didn't know that i had been talking to her he thought that she left me alone because i was on suicide watch which i'm glad she didn't listen to his bullshit story because what the fuck i want pickles right now anyways i had a bomb ass quesadilla it was so lit i need it again it was 16 dollars though talk about would never just saying so we're just talking he's like confirming all of my like the stuff that i had been telling her because he's like are you gonna come over again or like just all this shit and like obviously it was very very clear like the whole time she was like oh, like i can't believe he said that like he was talking to me like we had been hooking up because we had been and then she took my phone and she's like don't show me don't show me and i'm like you have to get on the camera you have to get on the camera and she's like no 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 no. and then she finally did and he hung up instantly and started texting her like oh i knew you were there the whole time like Luna kept looking at people and I'm like, I told you I was with my friend. Like I was just looking at my friend, which I was with my friend. Like, where is the lie? I'm not a liar like you, sir. Sorry. And we make a plan that we are going to go get dinner. And so then we make a plan that we are going to go. Oh shit, hold on. Hey, I'm not done charging fucker. Oh yeah, put it in me daddy. And so then we make a plan because he's with his friends going to the movie. He's with a friend watching a movie or something. He's like, it's over at 1030. It was like eight o'clock. We're like, okay, we'll just talk and drive around while we wait for him to get off the movie. So we're just talking. I'm telling her like, leave him. He's trash. She's showing me all these other messages of when he's cheated on her. Fucking 18 other times. Like literally. Maybe that's an exaggeration, but like once is too many. Like 18, girl? 
have some self-respect girl you are way too pretty for him and way too cute and nice and no one deserves to be cheated on also this is a side note but we were in the bathroom and i was telling this girl i was like yeah like her girlfriend or her boyfriend is like fucking cheating on her all this shit and she's like oh my god i've been through that like i'm here with my fiance right now like he's so lit i finally found the one and she was like my first boyfriend was gay and i'm like <laughs> shit like girls just have such trauma with dating like this is why we hate men just saying and he's like actually we're not gonna go to a, like we're out of the movie we're actually going to a party like do you guys want to come to the party with me and i'm like sir are you really 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 fucking inviting us to a party right now when you just got when your girlfriend just found out that you were cheating on her like you were just exposed and you want us to just go to a party with you so we went to the party no i'm just kidding we didn't go to the party but i was like are you literally okay literally we just end up not meeting up and i blocked him on snapchat all this shit well first i posted a picture with her like new bestie thanks at and i said his name i said thanks so and so for giving my new bestie and at this point i'm under the impression that she's like fuck him I, w I was telling her to pinky promise me that you will not go back to this son of a bitch she's like i can't pinky promise you like i just love him and i'm like ugh, girl stop oh my adam's apple what adam's apple I don't have one of those. Only men have those. I don't have one. And so then she's like, I can't promise you. And like, under this, at this time, I'm still under the impression that like, she's not going to go back to him because she was like mad. She just wouldn't pinky promise me. So I thought she was just like still working it out in her head, which is understandable. But no, this girl was, little did I know, this girl was ready to just go back to her mans. She took, dropped me off in my car. I drove home and it was just like four days later, she snapped on me and said that she's applied at a new job. And I'm like, oh, where? And she's like, blank walmart and i'm like doesn't he work at walmart <laughs> and she lives like 30 minutes away from where this walmart is she's like oh yeah i played at this one because it was the closest and i'm like that's literally the one he works at girl why are you doing this and i'm not trying to make her look crazy because i don't think she's crazy at all i think he's gaslighting her and manipulating her to make her look crazy and she's not she's just insecure because he made her insecure by cheating on her all these fucking times now they work together i think they're dating again there's literally no fucking happy ending to this story. Like I still, she snapchats me streaks every day and like I just send like a picture back. So like, fuck you, sir. I thought we were, her and I were gonna be new besties and we were gonna fuck him, but there, she's still just fucking him. <laughs> so I don't, I don't know. But there's literally no ending to this story. There's no fucking like, what's the C word? Co there's no consolation, sir sir confirmation consolidation closure there's no closure to this story for her or me or him or anyone basically end of the story they're still together i'm over here just like put a damper on their relationship for like a week like nothing else like he cheated like she's fine he's fine like they're together and then told her she's just he's just gonna be able to get away with this more and more if you just let him if you let him get away with this like dump his ass and she didn't so i can only do so much i'm not in control of her life or her fucking actions so she can do what she wants i guess that's the rest of the story that's the, all of it I told you guys the motherfucking tea don't forget to follow me on instagram snapchat twitter subscribe to my channel if you want more story times like this i'm trying to post more and yeah, thank you guys for watching. I love you guys so much. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.